Every day, the world around us shifts and changes. Technology, culture, society, all moving rapidly through states of progress. And although this is generally seen as a good thing, there's a dark side to some of these changes. Pornography has historically been a taboo subset inside of culture. The hidden magazine behind the dresser, the occasional sideline trip to the gas station for explicit material. Pornography today is an over $100 billion industry. It is as pervasive as the internet coursing through your very phone. At the click of a button, a five-year-old can access explicit content in an ever-increasing variety show of immorality. This is no longer a secondary issue tucked away in the back of daily life. The problem of pornography is dismantling the family system, devastating intimacy, crippling healthy development in children, proliferating sex trafficking and abuse. According to studies done earlier this year, up to 92% of men are struggling with unwanted sexual behavior and 62% of women. The average age of exposure to pornography is now nine years old. Up to 25% of kids under the age of 12 are already addicted to pornography. Porn use over the course of the pandemic increased by up to 40% in our homes and only 7% of churches around the country have a resource available to help. So if you are struggling with unwanted sexual behavior in any way, or if you've been wounded by someone else's unhealthy sexual behavior, I want to invite you to start the conversation on moving towards healing and restoration. Please visit 423communities.org. There is hope and you can do this, but you can't do this alone. Step into a community today.